Yeah guys, if you're lucky, this can be the view you can wake up to. Sleeping here was actually alright, I woke up pretty early again because of the traffic. And I'm currently figuring out where to go. As I said, I have that hand-drawn map yeah, from that woman yesterday. But yeah, we'll see where we'll actually end up. I should get on the road. I'm always doing this, just lying here and reading and doing nothing really. But I should just get on the road. Okay, I think we're ready to roll, so let's get back on the road. As always, I parked in the residential area and we are now walking into town and now it starts to rain so I should get the jacket. Also I don't know why I am, like what the name of the city is, but I guess we will find out soon. <laughs> Looks like another lovely old town. Well, I didn't spend much time in this little village. I just bought some stamps and some more postcards. And yeah, it started to rain again properly, so I'm just gonna continue my journey on the road. But now I'm braver in my bones You see I'm shooting for the moon You're painting me an indigo And all the shade is illuminating And all those love lines are taking shape And, and all my worries disintegrating well, I've been waiting, I've been waiting I got dizzy driving down this windy road just in the normal time, so I feel sorry for you guys in the time lapse. <laughs> I think it is time for a lunch break. I'm getting hungry. But 
beautiful scenery. I'm pretty sure the GoPro and like the shots I try to do can't capture that, but it is beautiful. It is already looking like Scotland. It reminds me of New Zealand. I'm happy. I don't think I showed you last night what I made for dinner, so this is it. Rice with beans and lots of vegetables. So, I had lunch and rain is on and off and it's windy and I'm actually quite tired, I don't know why, but I guess I've been driving a lot lately. I don't think I will do any hikes today or anything other special in this rain and everything. So I'll just keep driving. It would be 150 kilometers into a nice area of Scotland where I could start looking for an overnight stay. I want to be on the Isle of Skye in two days, so that's kind of what I have to do, just drive and drive. But it's a beautiful landscape, at least here in the National Park, so it's not too bad. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I just took a shower. Um, the same thing like I always did in Germany and the Netherlands. I just went up to a campsite, holiday park, whatever. This is what I did here. It was quite a fancy one. And because it's Sunday, it was closed, like the reception was closed. But the door to the showers was unlocked. So I just uh, went there and had a shower, like I always do. But uh, because here in Britain, there is CCTV everywhere cameras and they surely saw my license plate and everything so to avoid any trouble I wrote a lovely little letter, letter saying that I'm a very traveler thank you so much for a shower here's two pounds and no harm done I hope Ob obviously I leave the places clean close the door behind me again all of that so it really shouldn't be a problem but you never know so now I'm finally clean not like lake clean like like yesterday but actually a hot shower <laughs> It does, it is a different kind of clean and I still haven't gotten far. I'm still in this bloody uh, national park, like Lake, Lake District National Park. So I'm always stopping and taking breaks and eating lunch and having a look. So, uh. so now I really should and I will keep driving. I do want to cross into Scotland today. Oh geez, it's already 3 p.m. But yeah, whatever. Let's keep going back on the road. I think we have a minor problem. Um, the cell phone can't find satellites anymore or any lo location at all. So I only know because of the road science that I'm in Dumfries, Fries, whatever. But uh, like the locations, the lovely lady yesterday or the day before yesterday marked on this map. Uh, now I can't really find those because the only that's the only means of navigation I have. I don't have any kind of other map with me, so if this actually is broken, obviously I won't buy a new phone. Um, I think I have to buy maps and navigate the old, old school way. Like uh, it was handy while it lasted, but it's not working anymore. So all I can do right now is just drive 
and hopefully it'll be the right direction. I'm not even sure if I have a compass with me. Maybe I should buy a compass just to know the general direction. <laughs> in uh, New Galloway and I'm currently having a wheel look around. Maybe there's some food here, I have no idea. Looks like a really small Scottish village and it's Sunday so I'm not sure if I'll find anything. But I think it's one of the places that lady two days ago has mentioned to me. And she is from Scotland, she lived here so she should know. Maybe I should go in here. When you're in Scotland, always take a jacket with you. So I'm currently going through all my food and check if there's anything I could make. I think I have enough food at least to improvise something and I still have some fruit for tomorrow morning. So that'll be just fine. Now I'm currently looking uh, for a spot to stay the night but really I could just drive into this national park I'm right next to and you know same story as always take smaller roads smaller roads until somewhere in the woods I'll find a quiet place it's Scotland nobody will mind oh, but I'll check anyways if the internet actually works So I might have found a spot for the night, it's just one regular parking lot right next to the road, but it's even today, like even right now, a very quiet road, so it should be fine at night. And there's actually a family from Yorkshire, also in a Volkswagen, uh, I think it's a T5 though, not, my, not exactly my model, but uh, a Volkswagen transporter, and they're actually having a fire and a barbecue and all of that, so... If they do it, you know, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll be fine for me, and that's Scotland for you. First making some tea, but I'm not sure if you can see in the background. The sun is shining and it's raining simultaneously. You know, most of the time this van life thing looks very glamorous and I try to cook nicely and healthy and you see all of those beautiful pictures on Instagram. But I want to show you some of the real life as well. Like this food, for example. Does it look good to you? Does it look healthy? Hell no! <laughs> but sometimes that's reality. More often than you think. So, let me dig into this. Good night guys, see you again tomorrow, where we'll just continue to drive through beautiful Scottish landscapes and that's about it really. <laughs>